AM 1060 WMEL. Sunday, October 23rd, meet us at Market Street in Vieira for the Black and White Brunch and Art Auction, benefiting helping seniors of Brevard County. There's an exquisite brunch, a silent auction including oriental rugs, fine art, sports, and space memorabilia, and our live auction featuring paintings and jewelry, and our beautiful Win the Jaguar 1992 XJS, all proceeds supporting helping seniors of Brevard. Call 473-7770 for information or visit helpingseniorsofbrevard.org. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash AM 1060 WMEL. The views expressed on the following program are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and are not necessarily those of WMEL staff, management, or advertisers. Hello. My name is Kate Kaiser. I'm the information specialist for helping seniors of Brevard. I am sitting in today for Mr. Joe Steckler. Don't forget your President Mounder, but if those are just tuning in, I want to relate to you what helping seniors of Brevard is all about. Um, basically, if you're a senior searching for assistance in finding services for health, household, financial, legal, or any other need, please call 321-473-7770. And uh, basically, you know, our mission is to improve the quality of life for our seniors by providing important information, such as doing this radio show today, um, the television programs that we have on, um, our newsletter that is, appears in Senior Scene Magazine, and the numerous publications that Joe Steckler provides in various different types of publications as well. But it's all about education and access to resources. So whatever you may be looking for, don't hesitate. Give us a call at 321-473-7770 for Helping Seniors of Brevard. And I want to start out the program to everyone who may be listening today. We've got a major fundraiser coming up this Sunday. Um, it's going to be a free brunch, and it's going to be held at Market Street Residence. They're a new facility that's opened up in, um, actually, Vieira. So... It's a black and white brunch and art auction to help benefit helping seniors of Brevard. Uh, Joe Steckler has some outstanding Oriental rugs, some beautiful artwork. We've got several, several unique items for our silent auction. But the doors are going to be open at 11 a.m. As I mentioned, it's a complimentary brunch. It's served from 11 to 2. The live auction will take place at 1 p.m. So if you'd like to attend the event, we would truly appreciate you calling our number again, 321-473-7770. Well, before we kick off the program today, I also want to give some special thanks to the our partners that make this radio show possible, including, of course, 1060 WMEL, and their website is 1060WMEL.com. But we also want to thank Aldea Today, Barefoot Bay Tatler, Brevard Chiropractic and Injury Center, and Neurogenics Nerve Center of Rockledge, Canadian Meds of Melbourne, The Waters, Courtney and Braswell Financial Group, Ebony News Today, Ear Care, Handy Pro of the Space Coast, Hometown News, In-Home Personal Services, Kindred at Home, and Levin Home Care Nurse Registry. We'll pick up on the second half of our program today and give a shout out and a special thank you to our other partners that make this possible. But we have an interesting format here today. Um, a lot of seniors are thinking, is it time for me to downsize and maybe make that move? Or should I just be thinking about staying in my home and, and maybe doing some modifications? But we're here going to talk about some issues that many, many seniors think about, and that's real estate. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome to our program today, Joe Roth with Veterans Realty of Brevard. Welcome, Joe Roth. Thank you, Kay. Well, you have been in licensed in real estate for about how long? Uh, about 16 years now. About 16 years. And it, has it all been in the uh, Brevard County area? No, I did some in uh, New York, but uh, most of it's been here. Okay. I'd just like to give a shout out to uh, 
helping seniors of Brevard, and thank you for all you do to give peace of mind to the seniors in the area. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate that. Definitely. Well, we try our darndest. You know, obviously, if I'm doing a radio show as I am today, I can't be answering the phone. But by all means, leave a message because I return every every single call, and all of our all of our uh, voice messages are actually logged on not one computer but three. So we'll make sure we get to you. But Giroff, back to real estate a little bit. Um, you've what attracted me to pick up the phone and calling you is that you got something unique with a name called Veterans Realty of Brevard. How did you happen to come across that name? Well, I personally am not a veteran, but we have a lot of family. My wife and I, we have a lot of family that is veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, admirals, colonels, and all that good stuff. Uh, wow. On down the line, I've got a cousin that was on submarines for 20 years. And we're very close to the Patrick Air Force Base area, mm -hmm. but it's not just the veterans. We give uh, discounts to seniors, the first responders, police, fire, medical, and school teachers. We give them a discount. Excellent. So that makes your, your Veterans Realty of Brevard rather unique in the fact that you cater primarily to, although I'm sure you take other clients on as well, but the fact is that you are giving back, shall we say, in return to veterans and some hometown heroes in that respect, right? The seniors, yes. Well, I spent a lot of time with my mom, and I, I recognize that not everybody can grasp all the new technology that's coming out all the time mm -hmm. that so many people expect you to know about. We don't... We're... Back to the basics, face to face. Mm -hmm. and the old fashioned route? <laughs> not so much just the old yeah. fashioned route, but we take time and work with you. And you don't necessarily need to be computer savvy, and you don't have to know all the jargon that goes on with the new computer te technological age. Mm -hmm. And we want to help you. Okay. Well, that's, that's something to be honored. In fact, Joe Roth, the fact is that, you know, I find that many of the callers that I receive in a given day don't have a computer, have no idea how to even run a computer. So they don't have access to a lot of the information or resources. And primarily, you know, so many of them are saying, I'm going to call Helping Seniors at Brevard and try to find some resources. I need help. Well, that doesn't make them any better or worse than anybody else. That's true. It's just a different set of experiences for different people. If you can get on the computer, great. If not, it's not a worry. Okay, especially when it comes to real estate. Especially when it comes to real estate. Do you find, Joe Roth, that a lot of seniors are looking at maybe downsizing in Brevard County or anticipating maybe moving into a facility or anything like that? What's been your experience in that realm? Well, yes, they are. The big question is, is do the kids want the property? And so many times the kids are gone, and frankly, they don't want the property. And for them to, if something were to happen to you, they wouldn't want the property. So it's best to deal with it beforehand. Don't just plop it into their hands. Well, it's a matter of planning. Planning is I very important. That's a key word when it comes to whether or not they're going to give the property to their their children or pass it on in that respect. But don't you find also that, you know, when a senior is looking to either, I want to say maybe they're, they've been in a 3,000-square-foot home and it's just them now. They've raised the kids in that home, but they don't need all that space, but they find that, it's really difficult to maintain that property, and it may be quite expensive, too. Very expensive in some cases. Okay. Do you really need to be paying for that big lawn or the maintenance on the house or the taxes on the property? Right. What about if somebody has a, you know, a pool in the backyard? How many seniors are actually using that pool, you know, when you think about it? Hopefully more, more than more of them are because water is very good for for seniors. Oh, that's good therapy. It definitely. is very good therapy. If they can exercise to maybe get in and kind of maybe do some laps or anything, just, you know. But you don't want to be yeah. in that pool alone. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. don't want to be point. in the pool alone. Have a friend come over and talk to them while you're both doing water aerobics in the pool or something. That's a good advice, Joe Roth. I think, too, that I can recall when my mother um, 
my father passed away and my mother had a house on a canal and everything and she was trying to keep up because my father always kept up with the chemicals and all that and kept it pristine but then when he passed away she was trying to do that and she could hardly even carry that big jug of muriatic acid yes. or chlorine or whatever so you know it got to be kind of expensive for her to really you know maintain the pool with having you know service people come in every week and keep it up to par it gets expensive definitely but we live in florida hallelujah and <laughs> Yes. yes, and hallelujah, that storm Matthew is out of our way, you know, thank goodness. But um, I, I just think that it's kind of funny because a lot of people say, well, I'm I'm moving from the Midwest or a lot of people from the Northeast and all that, you know, they're kind of come to Florida. And I think that I find Joe Roth is the fact that for years, Brevard County was a really well kept secret, wasn't and it? It still rather is, but people are starting to discover it. And with that discovery, prices of properties are going up. The port area, Port Canaveral, is exploding. They're, oh, my gosh, yes. We are the second largest port in regards to cruise terminal passengers. And on top of that, we're starting to tap into the freight industry. Right. And you know those recent space launches? Yes. Well, they're going to be increasing many fold over we're going to have a lot more space launches and with these space launches and the expansions in the port mm -hmm. are bringing high paying jobs and these people that have these high paying jobs they need a place to live right and if they're not going to buy your place the people that are servicing these properties need a place to live that's another good point too you it's know? not just the super expensive homes that are going to be selling and prices going up mm -hmm. it's the it's the lower priced homes the one bedroom condominiums the two bedroom condominiums the port area or the Brevard County area in general right we're looking at things to be taking off in the way of prices going up. Well, that's good for those people in a senior, as a senior, in, in, owning a home to say, all right, they may have just started discussing the fact that they they no longer want to have to maintain the home and the overriding expenses to do that, but maybe they're looking for um, to get into maybe an um, independent living facility or something where people are going to be taking care of their transportation, their housekeeping, their meals, and et cetera. Uh, Joe Roth, it appears that we may have a caller on the phone here Hello. yes you do it's john and uh, hi Kay and john is wayne over in the studio next to you yes just saying hello didn't have a chance to say hi and uh, we've got john on the phone okay hello john is this john, john. frederickson <laughs> yes it is a lucky guess i uh -huh. guess uh, how, how are you today oh i'm doing good doing good just wanted to check in with you guys today and make sure we had the uh, proper recognition of the black and white brunch coming up Sunday. Fantastic. And I, I see that you and uh, you and your wife will be attending that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Looking forward to the uh, items up for auction that day. Well, fantastic. Well, we we appreciate you, John Fredrickson. And for those who are, John Fredrickson is actually the publisher of Senior Scene magazine and of course we have an eight page newsletter in that each and every month that's a special pull out section and john has been a, a very very strong supporter for helping seniors of brevard um and again in promoting our black and white brunch and art auction coming up this sunday it's going to be held at the market street it's a new memory care residence that opening in Vieira. So, John, what are you interested in? You think that you might be interested in a nice oriental rug or a nice piece of artwork to bid on here? Oh, definitely uh, looking for a nice rug, oriental rug for the house. And uh, I understand there's going to be quite a few to uh, choose from or look at or bid on. And uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Oh, fantastic. Well, you can always, if you if you win the bid and people see your Oriental rug, you say, guess where I got this from? <laughs> 
don't know. They are they are actually absolutely gorgeous. So we've got uh, some silent auction items that we're going to be offering um, prior to the live auction and so forth. So we've got some really neat goodies. So if somebody doesn't win an Oriental rug or a piece of artwork or jewelry and so forth, they still will have a chance to maybe take home something that is a really unique gift. So we look forward to that too. Joe Roth, you were going to say something to John Fredrickson here. I was just going to remind the ladies that are out there, don't forget your pocketbook. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> hey, John Fredrickson, let's make sure your wife's pocketbook is filled with, with lots of loot there so that you can get that Oriental rug on Sunday. <laughs> right, right. <well. laughs> okay. Yeah, and that, I, I did want to mention, I don't know if you've had a chance to tour uh, the Market Street facility, but that's a wonderful new facility there on Morrell and uh, it's pretty grand there gracious of them to host for us absolutely well I I know when I brought them in as a partner for helping seniors that I told uh, Joe Steckler I said they're gonna be kind of like a Taj Mahal it's just a unique design I know that on their website that they do a virtual tour and everything but it's absolutely gorgeous so we're looking forward to a strong partnership with that and continue to work with all of our partners including you John Fredrickson with Senior Scene Magazine. We really thank you for calling in today and supporting and being a strong supporter of, not only that, you're a, you're a member of our Senior Advocacy Council. So you are batting 100% with helping seniors of reward, and we truly appreciate you. Okay, and don't forget to mention at the upcoming expos, uh, for sure November 16th and possibly November 2nd, that we'll have the uh, uh raffle forms for folks to fill out for that uh, Jaguar. Oh, that's right. That's right. Um, we we had a nice event last Saturday at Heritage Isles, and a lot of people bought raffle tickets. So we're going to have the um, Ruby Red Jaguar on display at Market Street this Sunday. So our listening audience, please be sure to stop by one of the tables and get your ticket. They're $25 for one, or five tickets for a hundred dollar donation and this car is in mint condition it only has like 38,000 miles it's gorgeous on it. i've seen it yeah it's it absolutely is so some like you know it brings something to mind too if a senior i had a call oh, a few weeks ago a lady I was, I was promoting the fact that she needs to buy a ticket she says well i don't drive anymore and i said well what about giving that car to your children or how about just turning it around and selling it and putting quite a nice chunk of change in your pocket so the bottom line is folks it's to help seniors of Brevard or then you could turn around and donate it back and they could auction it off again there you go there you go so there's church or charity would love to get it there's all kind of possibilities but it's a beautiful ruby red jaguar so like i said if you are interested in purchasing a ticket by all means call our office at 321-473-7770 we'll be we'll be sure to get those out to you so john frederickson we appreciate you calling in and supporting helping seniors of brevard I'm looking forward to Sunday and seeing you there. All right. Me too. It should be a lot of fun. And I hope you win. <laughs> okay. Thanks Thanks for calling, John Fredrickson, with Senior Scene Magazine calling in today. He's a strong supporter for us. So, Joe Roth. Yes. Veterans Realty of Brevard. You've got a lot of information that I'm sure that when someone calls you, wouldn't you actually say that for the first time people will say, well, I got a friend who's a realtor. I'll just go with my friend. That's fine. And that's fine. However, is it true that sometimes that friend may not have the best interest of that individual? Well, sometimes people don't call their friend that's a realtor because they don't want them knowing their business. Frankly. That's 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 one point. <laughs> that's I, I one would point. Say. Yeah. But everybody's situation is different. The person that's selling a lot of million-dollar properties might not be the best one to call for a property that's in the two hundred thousand dollar range or something like that. Mm-hmm. But you make sure you contact several realtors and interview several realtors to figure out if you get along with them if, if you and ask them questions and make sure that they're asking you questions so that they'll know how to help you the best. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say it'd be a good rule of thumb to at least interview three different at least, realtors? At least. 
and, and check them out. Make sure that they're the ones that you want to be bringing people into your home. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's always wise. I think a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to go with this individual and not even talk to anybody else. But this is an important investment we're talking about. Very important. Real estate important. is one of the biggest investments people make in their lifetime. Mm-hmm. And most any realtor can help you, but, but you want the realtor that's going to ask you the questions to make sure that they're doing what you want to be done. So in other words, in interviewing several different realtors, the more questions that the realtor asks is more that acquiring information and being in the best interest of that seller. Correct. And you don't okay. want to p- pick the one that just paints the rosiest picture for you. There's a lot of disseminating that needs to be done in that picture. So make sure that you and that realtor are on the same page as to what, what you want accomplished. Okay. Well, that's a valid point, too. You know, just, you know, it is probably if the largest investment is real estate. You know, let's face it. Second to that, maybe an automobile. But being that, you know, a lot of people are sentimental about leaving their home or selling it and raising kids there. That, and now to look at perhaps downsizing or going to an independent living or assisted living and so forth can be quite stressful, to say the least. Wouldn't but, you say? But also, if you if you really you should be talking to your kids your trusted family members as to what your plans are initially 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 make sure yes. everybody in the family is on the same page because maybe somebody in the family does want it right and if you don't ask you're not going to know and that family member could be heartbroken with the fact that hey they didn't even ask me that i may be interested in that property my goodness sake so but don't just leave it to them that's one of the worst things you can do is just to leave it to them yeah, without really having a plan and having that initial conversation. Because it could be a burden for them that they really weren't prepared to take on. That's true. And I think the same thing is true with all the different things that you may collect over the years, too. Oh, my goodness, yes. You know, talk to your talk to your children. See what maybe they might be interested in um, before you consider donating them or, you know, sending them off to Timbuktu. It's really important to have that open communication, not only about the stuff you've collected you can't take it with you when you're gone so you know talk to your family members have those open conversations about what not only you have but then what's your property you know look kids we're looking about downsizing here does anybody have any interest in this property we'd rather we'd rather offer it to you versus putting it on the market and then you being disappointed later would you agree, Joe Roth? Oh, definitely. How does somebody get a hold of you? Let's give your telephone number out here. Well, we're at uh, area code 321-868-1833. And uh, you can get a hold of me or the office at Veterans Realty of Brevard. Mm-hmm. It's actually veteransrealtybrevard.com. Okay. But uh, we're again, we're at 868-1833. Okay. Well, Joe Roth, we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be back on the second half with a lot more information on real estate pertaining to seniors, their caretakers, and all of the above. So stay with us. We've got some great information to share on our second half. So we'll be back in just about a minute or two. Okay. Thanks, Kay and John. And this is AM 1060 WMEL, your RF blowtorch here in Central Florida, 50,000. Sunday, October 23rd, meet us at Market Street in Vieira for the Black and White Brunch and Art Auction, benefiting helping seniors of Brevard County. There's an exquisite brunch, a silent auction including oriental rugs, fine art, sports, and space memorabilia, and our live auction featuring paintings and jewelry, and our beautiful Win the Jaguar 1992 XJS, all proceeds supporting helping seniors of Brevard. Call 473-7770 for information or visit Helping Seniors of Brevard.org. It's 137 here on AM 1060 WMAL, and now it's back to uh, Kay and uh, her guest John Roth and helping seniors. And Kay, it's a pleasure to see you today. 
Glad to, yeah. glad to be back. You didn't know that you didn't know the show was filmed before a live studio audience, did you? Oh, is that why I hear the clapping and applause in the back? That's it. We got a great audience back here. They're a little messed up from the storm uh, a few weeks ago, but uh, they're getting over it. Speaking of storm damage, how'd you make out? Uh, unfortunately, not the best. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing major, hope. Well, not major, but we do have a tarp on the road. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. Okay, I hope the furniture didn't go wet. But uh, anyway, good, good to have you back here, and also to you, John Roth. All right, thank you. And it's Joe Roth. With Joe, Veterans I'm sorry. Uh, there's, too, there's too many people named John around here today. There are a lot of Johns around. And by the way, my name is Kay Kaiser. I am the information specialist sitting in for our president, founder, Joe Steckler, today. And I want to start off the second half of our program because helping seniors of Brevard is all about what the name says. So if someone calls 321 Four seven three seven 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 zero. They're looking for resources. They're looking for legal, financial, affordable housing, transportation, help paying their utility bills. Um, the list goes on and on and on and on. But we try our darnest to get them the resources that they so desperately need. So don't hesitate to call Helping Seniors of Brevard at 321-473-7770. We are a a non-profit that's a 501c3 non-profit so we give all that information out to our callers at absolutely no cost but in order to keep helping seniors of Brevard alive and cooking and continue to help our seniors in Brevard we have a special event coming up this Sunday called the Black and White Brunch and Art Auction it's going to be held at Market Street it's actually going to have a free brunch served from 11 until 2 we'll have a live auction of beautiful oriental rugs artwork etc so you got an opportunity to really bid on some exclusive absolutely gorgeous things to take home plus we have several items in a silent auction but we're going to have displayed right outside market street this sunday a beautiful ruby red jaguar and this jaguar has only 38,000 miles on it so you can buy a car raffle ticket for $25 or five tickets for a hundred dollar donation and if you'd like to call our office I'll be I'll be glad to get some tickets out to you that way as well so we're excited about the upcoming event this Sunday and uh, we hope that you can attend and participate and continue to help helping seniors at Brevard but I also want to give some really thank yous to some of our other partners that make this program possible we I want to thank Lemon Home Care, Nurse Registry, Organized Creative Designs. Now, Joe Roth, this will go right up your alley because this gal, Carla Pickerel, she goes in and she helps seniors get organized in Downsides. That's very important. Very, and I understand her business is really accelerating, so congrats, Carla. Um, Riverview, Riverview Senior Resort, Senior Scene Magazine, Seniors Helping Seniors, Dr. Lee Sheldon, Spotlight Magazine, The Eye Institute, The Fountains of Melbourne, and, of course, Veterans Realty of Brevard, which is here today, Mr. Joe Roth, Thank Vitas you. Innovative Hospice Care of Brevard, Water, Watercrest Senior Living Group, which is the Market Street Memory Care Residence, where the event will take place this Sunday, Bill, Bill or we'll call him William Johnson, and of course, W-A-M-E-L, AM 1060 Radio, Wustoff Health System, and Zon Beachside Assisted Luxury Living. So these people and these businesses help keep helping seniors going, and we hope that you too will help and participate by either buying a Jaguar ticket. You can also go on helpingseniorsofbrevard.org and find additional information. And we've got a lot of things up on the Facebook page as well. So lots of good information. So if you're just tuning in, our special guest today is Joe Roth with Veterans Realty of Brevard. Welcome back, Joe Roth. Thank you. My brother John just stepped out. <laughs> you're right. And there goes your glasses, That's too. Okay. You got so excited. There, you just stepped out there. Oh, my gosh. What really should seniors know about selling real estate in today's market, would you say? Well, they don't need to know everything. They just need to meet it, hook up with the right realtor. 
uh, buying or selling. And uh, if they're going to sell, the one thing that they need to know is clean sells. Keeping the place clean. If you're going to be selling, you want to make these the little projects that you've been putting off, the touch-ups. You want to get a handyman in or do it yourself. Somebody to come in and make the little touch-ups and the, yep. you know, remove the nails or put a little dab of paint here and there. And, and when, you, forget- when you say that if when it comes to paint, that it really should be a neutral color? Oh, don't- definitely neutral. Okay. Definitely neutral because I've seen people put in uh, gorgeous fire red carpet and people would come in and say, oh, I love the house, but I'm not going to buy it because I don't want to replace that carpet that's brand new. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So in that case that, you know, is there a negotiation as to our, far as a carpet allowance when it sure. comes to that? Uh, okay. If you don't want to replace the carpet, you can give a carpet allowance. You can give a paint allowance. Okay. But you never get a second chance to make a first impression. And same way with the, you know, just like the inside, you want everything clean. Mm-hmm. Outside curb appeal is very important. You know, it might behoove you to have somebody come in and even a, a high school kid come in and clean up your yard a little bit. Yeah, definitely. It makes Be- a world of difference. Well, if you're walking up the property, I mean, the first impression is the curb appeal. And I think, you know, from a, you know, novice point of view that you know when i see somebody's taking care of their property and the shrubs are trimmed and manicured and everything that that's a pretty good indication that the interior of that home is going to be in good you know good shape too yeah well if the if the uh, yard is well kept and trees are trimmed people can see what they're buying that's very important people want to see what it is they're buying and clean and is very important What about if somebody had a dog or a cat and, you know, ooh, they forgot to clean the kitty litter or something like that? Oh, my goodness. That would be a no-no. One of the biggest turnoffs for a buyer is Mm. odors, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a pet. You know, we get nose blind, as they call it, to some things. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily need to be a pet. It could be something as simple as a a sponge in the kitchen that maybe needs to be replaced. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Little things can turn off buyers. Yeah, there's little things. Those little things mean a lot. And if somebody, you know, let's say did have a cat or a dog and so forth, and the potential buyers coming in, maybe they have an allergic reaction. You know, how how do you handle that? Well, if you have a cat or a dog, that's it. You have a cat or a dog. But Mm -hmm. that doesn't stop you from putting the dog outside and making sure the litter box cleared out if somebody's coming by to look at the house. Yep. What about, you know, a lot of a lot of seniors especially, you know, they've they have um golly, I remember some growing up that my my best friend's mother, she had a beautiful white sofa. But on top of that white sofa was plastic. And so you sat down and you crunched on it, you know, just like she was going to make sure that that white sofa stayed white. But a lot of seniors think, oh, well, my furniture, I love my furniture. And, you know, they've got to love how I've arranged all of this in my home to sell it. So what's your advice when it comes to, you know, shall they shall they keep the furniture in the house or maybe move it into a storage? Well, if you live there, you need to sit somewhere, but you need to get to put away the personal things, the personal pictures of the, the kids and the grandkids and the, the dogs or whatever. Mm-hmm. You need to keep it all very neutral. You might have a wonderful family, but a buyer ne- wouldn't necessarily want to come and take away what the family has in the way of a home there. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, you want to put away the personal items. And when do you say less is best, Joe Roth? Oh, Definitely. You know, you know, for a potential buyer looking to buy a, a home and so forth, they, you know, the less in there, they could, it would, to me, help them visualize how their furniture would be fitting in that house. Correct. Okay. Now, some people want to sell their house furnished. Well, that's fine. But a lot of times the buyers come in and they have their own ideas of how to furnish things. They're going to be bringing their own furniture. So they might not necessarily put a much of a value on your furniture. Right. Right. Well, if you just tuned in, we're talking, my name is Kay Kaiser. I'm the information specialist for Helping Seniors of Brevard, and our guest today is Joe Roth with Veterans Realty of Brevard. So, Joe Roth, let's give your number out there again so people, they need to contact you. It's area code 321-868-1833.
Okay. That's area code 321-868-1833. Correct. So, um... You know, you talked in the first part of the program about the explosion that going on at the port and so forth. A lot of people moving into the area and so forth that are going to be in a higher bracket income. So the the market is going to be looking at a uh, positive, I would say, in Brevard County here in the not too distant future, and maybe it's starting to trend that way now. Is that correct, Joe Rock? Now let's back up a second, Kay. There wasn't an explosion at the port. <laughs> There's an explosion. Well, when I said I say explosion. Business. And Businesses. Jobs. Yeah, you had me a little worried down over here. Oh in the my studio. gosh. Yeah. You're no right. No explosion, no fire, no smoke. <laughs> Everything's fine well, at the port, folks. Yeah, everything is fine at the port. Sorry about that. When I was talking about explosion at the port, I'm talking about the explosion of businesses that are Positive that are moving gains. in yes. and so yes. forth. There's a lot of businesses coming into yes. the port area and the Space Center. Right. And uh, the, all around the Patrick Air Force Base, there's a lot of uh, high-tech industries coming into the area. And, they, and not only commercial properties, but the people that work at these places – they're going to need a place to live. Right. What happens, Joe Roth, in real estate, you know, when a senior says, um, okay, I, I want to downsize, but I only want to downsize to some place that is going to be comfortable for me to live in. You know, a lot of homes built in our area when the space program was really going strong were built back in the 60s and a lot of those hallways may not be senior friendly um have you found that to be true for a lot of the homes that are on the market the older homes yes Mm -hmm. what's very important if you're going to go into another property to live there you might want to sit down and make a a wish list things that you need good idea things that you want and also a list of things that you don't want in your property, uh, whatever it may be. Some people, they love to have a fireplace, though we don't really need one here. But do they want just first floor? If they're going to be higher than the first floor, do they need an elevator? And call a realtor. Ask them to send you some properties that meet your criteria. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to buy, one of the very first things that you need to do if you're if you're not going to pay cash, is you need and you're going to get a loan, you need to talk to a mortgage lender, now, and get pre-qualified. Pre-qualified, right? and a lot of times you can do this at the bank that you do your banking at. Mm-hmm. But keep in mind that just because you get your pre-qualification letter from that bank, you don't necessarily have to get the loan from them. Once you've got a, an accepted contract to purchase a property, then you can shop around. For a loan to get the best rates. That's a good advice. Good advice. You know, you don't necessarily have to go with the bank that you have your account with. You know, it pays to shop around. But, but if you have that pre-qualification letter from a lender, mm-hmm. you will look like a cash buyer to a seller. That way, when you walk into a property and say, "Yes, this is the property I want," mm-hmm. you can make that offer rather than having to wait to get that pre-approval. While somebody else comes in behind you and says, I like this property, I'm going to buy it. And they have their pre-approval. And guess what? They can buy it and you've lost out. Yeah, that's an important important point. Well, I think as a seniors listening and, you know, looking to either sell or buy, um, many of them, you know, I'm talking about home modifications. And like we, we just talked about some of the houses really being built in the 60s. You know, have you find, are you ever finding any uh, living rooms that are a step down? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a big red flag for any senior and even yes. not just seniors, uh, people that might be in the future having a senior come to live with them that's that's a that's a big issue we don't want necessarily want to have a sunken living room it used to be the trend way back when oh it, and it's was, beautiful it? it was beautiful but some people don't see that first step and there they go uh oh and that's a that's a danger because one of the worst things that it seems to happen with a lot of seniors is falling down so yes and that's where by the way handy pro of the space coast 
um, Elaine Daramar Cook. She is a past engineer from the space shuttle and so forth, and she got involved in this, and she recently got her general contractor's license. So that's what she specializes is in home modifications. And one thing she told me too, Joe Roth, was the fact that, you know, it may not be just for you that you're making those home modifications with that sunken living room and, and making a bathroom safe and so forth, but it could be for your relatives when they come to visit. And if you've made these improvements on your property, if you put in hand grab rails in the showers and right. in the hallways and stuff, make sure your realtor points that out to somebody else who might be wanting to buy your property. Absolutely. As a selling point. Well, what are the, some of the things not to do when selling? What would you say some of those things are? If uh, Not to do? Not to do. Not to do. That would be uh, no wild colors. <laughs> no plum or lemon lime or no, anything like that? No. Huh? Uh, okay. Clean as clean cells, clean but not to do. Uh, okay. Don't. If you've got to be really careful if you're considering selling it, whether you're going to rent it out. If you rent it out, maybe your tenants don't want to allow showings. Maybe your tenants are going to be there for a year, and mm -hmm. uh, the people that would buy it next month are not going to buy it because you've rented it out, and any sale would be subject to the lease. You know, and we talked about that briefly before the show, Joe Roth. Um, the fact is that, you know, somebody may be in a home or a condo with a, an option to purchase, but your comment was kind of surprising to me, how that has changed. It's very difficult to get an option to purchase anymore because traditionally one would have to pay a lot of money to get to, to buy that option. Mm -hmm. This is a non-refundable payment. And What percentage usually has been the norm on that? Uh, 30 and 40 percent is not unheard of. Wow. Where typically if somebody's outright just buying a property, it's still pretty much an average 20 percent down? Actually, they've really relaxed that. It was 20 percent to not have to pay the PMI, the purchase or the the mortgage insurance. Okay, let's talk about PMI right there. Let's you mentioned a term and real estate has a lot of different terms. Could you explain to our listening audience what that really means? Well, that means if something were to happen to you that the mortgage and the insurance would be paid for. It's just an insurance policy. Okay. But uh, getting back to that, you can they've got programs now where you can buy a home and not have to buy the PMI, the, the mortgage insurance, mm -hmm. you could get into them for 3 and 5% in some programs. Wow. Wow. And I sp I would imagine there would be special programs for veterans, too, to be able to There are many programs for veterans. Okay. Uh, there's uh, there's many assistance programs. There's, and if you haven't owned a home mm -hmm. in the past five years, you can still considered a first-time home buyer. Even though you might have owned a home before, you could still be considered a first-time home buyer. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, do you think the um, how do, how do you see the mortgage rates? You know, here in the future, with our our maybe growth here in Brevard County, do they're, you think they're going to be stabilized, or do you think they're going to go up after the election? Or you know, nobody has a creep uh, crystal ball, but I think they're going to be creeping up. My concern right now, after uh, Hurricane Matthew is that the insurance rates might be going up. Homeowner's insurance. That is what I'm going to be watching. It, you know, even though, to tell you the truth, the Space Coast wasn't hurt as bad as a lot of the other properties up farther up north. That's true. But it's the properties up north the insurance industry is going to be basing our rates on all up and down the coast. And they relaxed it a little bit just recently from when they went up from the hurricanes of 04. Mm -hmm. But now they're going to be reassessing things. Oh, boy. So get ready to pay a little bit more for your homeowner's insurance. Not huh? necessarily, but I'm keeping a leery eye out for it to happen. Oh, well, you know, I, I know that with all the claims and everything that, are, that have happened, you know, after Hurricane Matthew came through, that, you know, the insurance companies, you know, are looking at, hey, our margin of profit is not as high They're as it used to be. They're to make money. Yeah, absolutely. So, you, Joe Roth with Veteran Brevard, 
Veterans Realty of Brevard. We're going to back backwards on there. Let's give out your telephone number. How can people, how seniors can be in touch with you? Because you offer seniors a discount, which is unique in the real estate market. So how can they be in touch with you? Yes, um, they can contact us um, by phone at area code 321-868-1833. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and your office is located in Cocoa Beach, is that correct? That's correct. We're at 1399 North Atlantic Avenue, right next to Cocoa Beach Health and Fitness, and right across the street from Lori Wilson Park in Cocoa Beach. Okay, but you service all of Brevard, don't you? Yes, we do. Okay. And not necessarily just the seniors or the veterans, but but we, we have a special place in our heart for the seniors, the veterans, the first responders, that's the police fire medical and school teachers can't forget the school teachers they're very important um and that's that is really important but i'll tell you wayne sent me some message here it was an anniversary of route 66 but before we do that real quick i want to remind people to give helping seniors of brevard a call at 321-473-7770 and i want to remind people to give us a call if you want to attend the black and white brunch and art auction coming up this sunday free brunch beginning at 11 and going till 2 beautiful rugs and artwork will be available to bid on plus you can buy a car raffle to win the jaguar it's a ticket for 25 or five tickets for a hundred dollar donation so Folks, this isn't this. We want to keep helping seniors in Brevard County. The calls that I get, they're desperate. They need resources, and we provide this service for free. So, help seniors stay alive and help us to help other seniors. So, Joe Roth. It's been a pleasure having you on the air with me today. You're with Veterans Realty of Brevard. We thank you, and hopefully the people that need to look at buying or selling a home in Brevard County will keep you in mind. Thank you very much, Kay. Thank you so much for being a guest on Helping Seniors of Brevard. So Wayne has some unique Route 66 theme. Well, you were were talking about uh, growing old. I don't feel old, but uh, I remember Route 66 when it first came on. It came on the air 56 years ago today. That many years ago? I believe it aired on October the 20th, 1960. That's today's date. Wow. And uh, see if you can tell me who, uh, who was the original star. Glenn Corbett. Nope, George Maharis was the first guy with Martin Milner, was the driver, later starred in One Adam 12. And then the next guy was Glenn Corbett. He starred in 1963. He was the passenger in that beautiful 1962 Corvette. Ooh, nice. Yep, the good old days. Well, thank you for listening to Helping Seniors of Brevard. We hope to see you Sunday. Thanks, Kay. Thank you. And thanks, Joe. Thank you, Joe Ross. Coming up on 2 o'clock, AM 1060 WMEL.